Hello, my name is Kathy Listavella and I'm a respiratory coordinator and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your oxygen concentrator. We do carry a variety of concentrators and they all work very similar. Here we have the Perfecto O2 and the Respironics Everflow. Along with your concentrator, you will be receiving a bag of supplies. In that bag, you will find the 50 foot tubing, the swivel connector, and the seven foot cannula. 57 feet is the maximum length you should be using in order to receive your oxygen properly. The 50 foot tubing has identical ends, so we're gonna take one of those ends and we're going to attach it to the outflow. The other end, we're going to take and put it on the swivel connector. And then we're going to take our cannula and connect it to the other side, like so. Here we have our cannula. To put on your cannula, you will face the prongs towards your nose, pointing down. Insert them into your nose, around your ears, and push up the little plastic to adjust around your neck. Next, we're going to turn on our concentrator, and you will hear some audible alarms, which indicates that the concentrator is working properly. Here we have our flow meter, and at eye level, we'll turn the knob to center the ball onto the line of the prescribed liter flow per your provider. Here you can see the ball is exactly in the center of two liters. In the event of a power outage, your concentrator will alarm like so. You'll have to turn off your concentrator to stop the alarm. Now for some fire safety tips. In your setup folder, you will receive this sign, which you want to post on your front door to let your guests know that there is oxygen within the home. You always want to maintain six feet of distance from any open flame while wearing your oxygen. On the back, there's some extra safety tips as well. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Tune in for additional troubleshooting tips. Thank you.